Hey everyone, it's Josh. Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 3. Last time we he, uh, spent much of the episode looking for feathers out in the frontier and we made a new friend for the homestead. This time it's a smith named Big Dave. This time we're going to do his homestead mission to make sure he's you, uh, have a minute, my friend. he's welcome to the place, and then we're going to head back out to the frontier and look for more feathers. Is it coming, Big Dave? You make any progress on the knife? I would like to give it to Miriam soon. The steel Norse smelted is something else. I've rarely seen such fine metal. The trouble is my old tools aren't hard enough to work at. But the ones I need aren't hard to find. A shop or two in New York sell them at a good price. I'd do it myself, but with the regulars after my head, I'll stay here safe and sound. I have matters to attend to in New York. I will see to it the next time I journey there. Sounds good. Send them off. Now, there's a 90% success rate. So that's gonna be pretty, pretty high, really. Wait, what? Why? Why is there no. There's no fast travel option. Okay, fine. Good dog. And just while we're here. Thank you. Oh, 
you are better Earth. One of those guys. So slow. You will not enjoy your final moments of life. Jesus Christ, three of them? Gods. To business. Okay. Uh, hang on, I need two of those. Yep. All oh, those are good. on a warpath for that deserter. What's his name? Big man or some such thing? Big Dave. Did in a whole unit escaping, they say. Dave's in for a rough ride, seems to me. Well, that ain't good. Let's get this hammer back. Thanks to die. Dave, then. Uh, let's go to that fast travel point. No? Okay, fine, this one.
Okay. Oh, we're going completely the wrong way, damn it. Still going the wrong way. The sheep, and that's not good, the sheep shouldn't be this far out. Oh, those are... Why did I think it was sheep? Sheep, I have no idea. Sometimes I am not very smart. But apparently. Okay, this way. Yeah. Yes, here we go. the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. <laughs> I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. I'll have to face them sometime or another. Oh, what's near Murian's camp? Does that mean... In the day, he's already finished the, the knife. What are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam a knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. What am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. This is something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. I mean... Hmm. Come on, Norris, you got this. 
That's serious. Come on. Norris is adorable. You know, he's a genuine sweetheart. That it's that the relationship is so cute as well. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Would you? I'd be much obliged. I, uh, I bring something for you. Maybe uh, it will help? I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then. Aww. Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. That is so cute. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yama. I mean, Miriam does know that using a gun is just going to damage the first she's trying to get, right? had this blade, that lick spittle might have gutted me. A timely gift from Norris, it would seem. Indeed. I must make sure to thank him properly. I still... I mean, he... The poacher did say he was never... And he would never come back, but... I mean, I guess there was no way to know whether he was telling the truth, and he did come back here in the first place, so... I guess Connor was in a... Moved 
good to, I guess, second chances. Also, we did try to kill Miriam, so. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense, actually. <sighs> Alright, where are we heading? Somewhere between Lance, Hunter's Workshop, and the Mile is End Pub. Trying to get under the roof, thank you very much. say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. Thank you. All of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. We could have seen the doctor doing some doctoring. For once. Okay, uh. For the road and. down. Time to lend me a hand? My friend! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! 
Marion? We are getting married! I told you not to touch him, Norris. <laughs> Is it true? Yes! <laughs> so now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is, and they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony, and give her to Norris as her father. I would be honored. Wonderful! On to other business. Our weddings are complex beasts and require many hands working together to execute. This is cute. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food, Ellen to make them appropriate clothes, Big Dave to smith wedding bands, me to conduct the service, and Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. We'll start here. I get the feeling we're not going to be doing much uh, feather hunting. I think this episode. Wait, honestly. Oh. Okay, let's wait until I put us back here then. Connor, everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except, uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I'm certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend. In fact, if I remember correctly... If I remember correctly, she's out hunting? Probably. I mean, if I remember correctly, it's nerves and yeah, she's out hunting. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am in this case. She's over there, so. I'm guessing they probably talked off screen, but
You may kiss your bride. Aww. So cute. Just so stinking cute. Hello, Connor. Enjoying yourself? I am. It is nice to see everyone together and happy. Look at those two kids. It's a lovely sight. Norris is one of my best friends, and he couldn't have found a better woman. Proud of him. Sometimes people are just right for one another. Norris and Miriam are a match made in heaven. Or a match made by Connor. Isn't that right? <laughs> I only helped Norris muster his courage. The rest came naturally. And my little brother Joseph tossed him in the river! <laughs> Connor, we were just recalling our weddings. Spirited events, I take it. <laughs> Spirited? <laughs> More like brawls than unions they were. <laughs> calling Joe Little is like calling me Big Terry. Voice a bloody mountain. My younger brother had a blow-up with one of Terry's cousins. A minor disagreement about some lass's dance card. I'll just say Terry's cousins sobered up right quick when it was over. Poor boy. Sitting there sopping wet on a stump while Joseph spun around with the object of his affection. <laughs> it was good for him. Not him good things don't come easy. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you. I won't keep you long. I would like to present something to Connor and you all. I once said I'd find a way to show my gratitude for your courageous actions in my defense. And this is what I give you today. This flag is a symbol of our strength and unity. And I would hope you'd all be proud to fly it high above your homes and shops. I'll happily make one for each and every one of you, if you so desire. But this one is for you, Connor. Aww. Thank you. Hang on, what did that say? Father Timothy will do something. I missed that notification. Ah well. I'll see when I he watches this episode back anyway. The homestead village is actually be coming along really nicely. I know I said that last time, but I mean it's true. Connor, might I have a word? What do you think of our little plot of land, Doctor? It's quite beautiful. I'm grateful you found me. But to be truthful, people outside our community still avoid me like the bloody plague. They baffled me for a time, but 
Then a courier delivered this to me. Before you found me, the British had demanded I not treat patriots nor their supporters. I refused, so they set about destroying my business. This tells me their smear campaign is still very much in effect. If things don't change, I may be forced to leave. We need you here. I will do what I can to end this defamation. You might start by finding the courier who brought this to me. He works out of Boston. <sighs> you got it, Doc. Off to Boston we go. Hey ho, hey ho. Off to Boston we go. Okay, that one. Slander him. Well, you won't find argument from me. Dr. Lyle healed my leg good as new. The pamphlets are being distributed by a few paper boys around Boston.
much, but very kind. Where's the man printing these pamphlets? Look, mister, there's a man who pays me to hand his papers out. So long as he's doling the coin, I'll be doing what he asks. Well, time to go beat, beat some guy up. And he has no cash left. Excellent, that's... Blau's a good friend. I'm glad we were able to help him. Uh, we'll worry about not that one last. There's one more I want to do before then. If I'm right, it's at the smithy. What is happening? Found this guy skulking around the inn. I pressed him, and it turns out he's looking for a deserter. Goes by the name of Big Dave. Says he's alone. Isn't that right? I am. I'm alone. I swear it. He is that? Another one, Connor. If he gets back to his officers, I'm done for. Okay, if you say so. Is he? Coward kicked me in the gingham, Bobs. 
then through sand in Dave's eyes. But he's long gone now. Not good, Connor. No. We can expect visitors soon. They're not the good kind of visitors either. Unfortunately. Oh damn, that is a beautiful smithy. All right, let's go see what that master Achilles is wants. Oh, that is beautiful. It is beautiful, old man. It is. I've found a painting for the space above the mantel. It's being held in New York. If you get a moment, I'd like you to pick it up for me. Certainly. Good. It may not be there, as the house where it was stored lay in the path of the Great Fire. If so, were I not? All right. Up to New York we go. It's quicker to fast travel to that one. It was up there. I have the painting you sent me for. Would you like some help hanging it? Maybe not just yet.
All right, well. It's... Well, a lot has happened, and anyway. So, we're going to end things off there. And then next time... Um... We'll head for the frontier again and search for more feathers. So if you've enjoyed the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Oh, we'll probably get some hunting done. We'll probably do some of those hunt hunter missions as well anyway. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you have but you haven't been receiving notifications, hit the bell down below, share the video with your friends, leave a comment. And of course, my social media information is in the description down below. Alright, with all that said and done, I'll see you all next time. Till then, Josh out.